Will it pop or will it not? Oh boy, did it. Oh boy, did it. This is Pilsner Urkel. Really fantastic Czech beer. Powerfully, confidently bitter. Really fresh. Mm -hmm. This is Radu, this is 1000 words, welcome to another video, welcome to this glorious, glorious Sunday afternoon, and today I'm going to talk about, is it eight, I think, yeah, I think it's eight tiny, small little things about the Fuji X-T2 that mean a lot. are just some of the things I uh, noticed in the very short time that I've used this, but they're things that really actually do mean a lot. Things I never actually knew I needed before doing an actual proper in-depth review of this fantastic camera. Can you see I'm already gushing about it? Oh man, I love it to bits. Uh, I'm even considering buying a second body, just, just so I have two. <laughs> yeah, don't tell the wife. But yeah, um, before doing an actual proper review, I want to make at least this video about some things, some tiny little things I love about this camera. Things that, while small, really do mean a lot and make the difference between an okay shooting experience and a lovely, fantastic, wonderful shooting experience. I will possibly be making another video in the future where I talk about some things I don't necessarily enjoy about the camera. But uh, so far there's just maybe one or two, so I don't think, uh, I, well, if they end up being more than two, uh, it will merit a video. But until then, um, let's just talk about eight little things that mean a lot. Some housekeeping is in order before getting to the actual content. I do want to remind you that uh, in about a week or two, maybe three at most, hopefully, I will be ending my giveaway. Go look uh, through my videos and find the one where I'm uh, giving away a Minolta Hymatic. 7S, a uh, film rangefinder camera. And uh, there's still quite plenty of time for you to enter in the giveaway for a chance to win. There's a kid banging metal on metal and wood. So much fun, so much fun. Probably less fun for you guys listening, but I'll be damned if I shoot this again. I, I'm not going to get that pop again so uh, it, it is what it is there's still a, a few two or three copies left of my photography book left for you to purchase if you were interested in getting a book of mine um, drop me a line find me on any social media of your choice that out of the way First up, and these are all in no particular order, is the fact that when you have pressed the shutter button and turn the focus ring, you override the autofocus and you engage manual focus and together with it, you engage focus peaking, which is otherwise disabled when shooting autofocus. Do keep in mind, this only works in autofocus single, not in autofocus continuous. So you need to be in autofocus single, half press the shutter button and fine tune your focus with the aid of focus picking. This is just fantastic. This is, I can't tell you how happy I was when I 
discovered this. Well, the autofocus on this camera is mind-blowing. It's really fantastic. Uh, for a camera of its generation, in its price range, it, it's just really, really great. Excellent, close to amazing. However, there are times when you, when it gets confused, there are times when you want to quickly focus on a specific part of the image and not fiddle around with a joystick, which is almost just as fast, but maybe perhaps not quite as fast as being already half pressed on the shutter, turning the focus ring, triggering and amazing. Numero dos. The wonderful way this camera handles deleting of several images in a sequence, not necessarily at once. Now, uh, having been accustomed to the way my Sony camera did, this was just a game changer for me. You press the preview button, press the delete key, and either press OK or press the joystick, and you pull up the Erase OK dialog. Now, in order to erase another image, you just either use the D-pad or the joystick to cycle through images, and once again, click OK to delete. And you just flick through the images. This one you want to delete, delete it, flick through, flick, 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 delete, flick, delete. It, it's just such a tiny little thing that makes for such a wonderful and joyful experience with using the camera. It, 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 it's a quality of life feature. Number three on the list of small little things that mean a lot is how this camera handles customizing the programmable button. It simply and beautifully pulls up a very easy to understand graphical representation of the camera front and back view with each programmable button nicely highlighted. So there's no need for you to guess which is custom one, which is custom two, which dial is the front dial, which is the rear dial, which is the middle dial. It's just so easy to go through all your buttons, pick the specific function you want to assign it to. It, 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 it just is a breeze to use. Number four is actual doors for all the ports and plugs and not those flippy flappy wobbly flaps that feel like they're going to break if you stare at them hard enough that's looking at you sony these doors are really feel like they're really sturdy really great pretty awesome the shutter button while I've noticed a lot of people prefer their soft press add-ons. I really enjoy using this. It, it, it takes me back to using film cameras. I really like the way it feels to touch. It's really tactile. And I really like it's a very distinctive two-stage shutter. Number six. The fact that you can choose to have this in mechanical plus electronic shutter mode. This is something that blew me away when I first discovered it. While at first it, it baffled me, I didn't know why I was shooting some very brightly lit scene and I was really, really confused why there was no sound to my shutter. I, took the picture and I could hear nothing. I looked into my screen, checked 
the image I had just taken and sure enough it was there, but there was no sound. Then I discovered something really, really smart. Uh, well, I'm not sure if other manufacturers do this the same, but if not, they all should. When uh, lighting conditions are such that one over 8,000, which is the fastest this mechanical shutter can go, is still too long, the camera automatically switches to electronic shutter and will give you one over 12 thousandths of a second or whatever it needs is really wonderful and that's the reason why I never actually heard the shutter sound. It's really great, it's really smart how this camera does things for you, just helping you to make pictures and getting out of the way, just making life easier. This is one of those things that I never really knew I needed until uh, eventually getting to use it. And it's really, really nice and pleasant being able to flip the screen when you're in a portrait orientation. Now, I was able to do this, but when you're really going down low, it's really, really great that you're able to flip the screen like this. On the subject of portrait orientation, the eighth and last little thing that means a lot is the fact that the user interface flips when you flip the camera. Why don't all cameras do this? I mean, phones do. And the Sony, I think all Sonys, certainly the Sonys I had actually used a, a KitKat, an Android 4.4, really ancient version of Android. So it had auto rotate. Why not enable it in the camera? The interface flips according to how you, you turn the camera. It's really great. All cameras should do this. Now, these are some things that I've noticed while using this camera for the last, what now, three, almost four weeks. Certainly more are to be discovered, but uh, it's safe to say this is the best camera I have ever used. And best is not a measure of its technical abilities, it is a measure of my enjoyment of using it. And at the end of the day, while images do matter most, the end result is what really, really matters. I think there's a lot to be said about the tools you use, because if you do use tools that inspire you, tools that you enjoy using, it certainly makes getting a good result easier and, it's, and it certainly makes you a lot more willing and glad to take up the tool and use it. This has been all. This has been Radu. This has been a thousand words. Until next time, farewell.